Good evening. I wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit about um, Harry Emerson Fosdick and uh, his famous sermon on Shall the Fundamentalists Win? Uh, first, uh, Reverend Fosnick was a central figure in the fundamentalist modernist controversy of the uh, 1920s and 1930s. He was the most prominent liberal minister during that time. He was a Baptist, preached as a Baptist minister for you know, 10 to 12 years before he became pastor of the First Presbyterian Church in New York City. And it's here at this church that the sermon took place. Uh, shall the fundamentalists win? He defended the modernist um, movement and his position as a liberal. And he went on um, to, uh, to state that the Bible should be uh, read as the unfolding of God's will and not literally God's word. Um, he did say the history of Christianity has developed and progressed over time and it's still progressing and we that the churches need to change with the times. Uh, he uh, stated that the fundamentalists were illiberal and they were intolerant and that they are the reason for the splits in the church. Uh, he talked about that with so much new knowledge out there with the physical universe, its origins, its forces, and its laws, and um, the human history of the way worship used to be and changes through life. And um, he defended that over the creation in stating that, you know, that wasn't literally the way creation did take place. Um, he... Uh, he did talk about the fellowship of the church, that people with different opinions can get along and they can stay in the same church, but the fundamentalists weren't allowing it and that uh, they wanted them out or they were leaving. Either way, they blamed the fundamentalists for the split itself. Um, he did state that uh, there was two elements as Christians that we should be, and he got on to both the fundamentalists and the liberals at that time. And one of them was tolerance, that they need to be learned of tolerance of each other and their opinions. And that Christian liberty uh, is something that needed to be learned. And that um, the young opinion needs to understand that it's because of the old opinions that gave um, give the world the noblest character in who they are. And they need to respect them in that uh, and then one of the biggest things was that he got on to both sides is that they need to have a more clear insight into modern Christianity and uh, they should be ashamed for quarreling and that they are called as Christians to share God's word with the lost and they're so busy quarreling they forgot their reasoning and so he got on to them and brought them back to a thinking of why are we here as Christians and that we need to be out there thinking of the man who needs God not the little things in the church that need to be fixed and um, there was some pretty good articles out there there's quite a few newspaper articles on uh, the sermon itself there was newspaper articles on Reverend Fosdick and the Evening Star Washington DC um, quite a few women's journals had things on him but if you want to read the sermon, it can be found at Presbyterian Historical Society's website at history.pcusa.org. Y'all have a great evening.